Hi guys, if you are new around here, my name is Riona. I'm a mum of one. I've got a wee boy called Finley. He is two in January. Um, I'm a wife. I live on the west coast of Scotland. I'm just new. This is only my second ever video on YouTube. So I thought, being in the Christmas spirit, I would show you what I got for Finley's Christmas Eve box. Yes, I have been suckered in to this new idea, Christmas tradition. I skipped it last year because Finlay wasn't even one yet, so we wouldn't have known. Um, but this year I didn't actually plan on getting him a Christmas Eve box, or doing a Christmas Eve box or anything like that. But we were in Glasgow on Monday, and we were walking around the shops and I seen this box and I just fell in love with it. So I'll show you. <coughs> it's like a treasure chest and it's got we know on it from Santa. It's got lots of like travel stamps and things like that. And it's like it's not wood, it's cardboard. Cardboard. But it's like wood effect and it's got this beautiful wee like buckle thing on it. Not buckle, block buckle. Um, and you clip it shut. It's just beautiful. Totally loved it. And I think it was about eleven ninety nine. I think we paid for it. But yeah, it's a gorgeous wee box. So obviously I had to get them stuff to win it. So in the shop that we bought that, it was like a uh, like, like an independent. It was in Clyde Bank Shopping Centre, but it was like just like a Christmas. I think it was called the Christmas Shop, or I can't remember. But it like all the Christmas decorations you could ever think of. So we got him, <laughs> first of all. Now, disclaimer, I'm not doing Elf on the Shelf this year. I didn't do it last year either. Um, but we got this little elf. Oh, look at his face. So cute. I don't know what we're gonna call him yet. I think I might leave it to Finley to decide. But I thought even though we're not doing Elf on the Shelf, it'd be like an introduction thing for him. Because it hopefully, Possibly, maybe, we'll do it next year. Um, but I thought it'd be quite cute for him to open his box and there's like, well I don't know if I'll put it in the box or sitting on top of the box. I don't know, I think I'll get more out of it than Finley will. Um, but I just thought it was quite cute. And they had loads of stuff, like Elf on the Shelf stuff, oh my god, ridiculous, like doors and like other weird things. I don't know how, the doors were only like that size, so anyway. I'm blathering. So that was him. And in that shop as well, we got a stocking. And it's so cute. It's got like wee snowmen on it. And it's like so soft. That wee red bit is so soft. Oh, just lovely. Um, Finley had a stocking last year, but he got it from his granny Strang, and it's like a uh, baby's first Christmas on it. So because this is second Christmas, I don't just want to use it because eventually they'll get older and they'll be like, what? So I thought it'd be nice for him to hang it up himself. We've actually got our stockings up already, but I thought this would be quite nice for him to hang up for himself for his presents. So we got that. I think that was about three, four pounds, something like that. And the elf, I think, was about four pounds as well. And that shop as well, we got him a wee snow globe. We got him like a wee Santa or a wee elf, I'm not sure, but it's an elf and it says Merry Christmas on it and I just thought it'd be lovely. We got one last year, it's like a wind up one and it plays Christmas music so I thought it'd be quite nice for him to have like one every year and hopefully that'll be like a wee tradition that will carry on so I thought he might smash it and break it but I'm hopeful, fingers crossed. So we got that as well, that was a couple of pound and Finlay loves stickers or labels or anything he can stick. You know the wee peel tab you get off the wipes? He loves sticking that in his face and his belly and everywhere. And he's mad about stickers. So we got him these. And they're like wee elf stickers they're called. So we've got them them. They've got like elves behaving badly, south pole, wee elf legs, elf heads. Um, I think they're actually to do like elf on the shelf stuff, but we just got them 
so they can stick. I think they're quite easy to come off, so if you stick them in the walls and things like that, hopefully they'll come off. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a nice wee thing to get them, just so that you can have a wee bit of fun. And I think they were about a pound. So yeah, they were nice. Moving on to, we dropped into Wilco's and we got, we got like house stuff and that, but we picked up these little, don't know how well you'll be able to see them, it's like reindeer, snowballs and they've got little Santas as well, you can't see it very well with the netting, but they were a pound and I thought they'd be quite nice either in his box or in his stocking, so probably his stocking because the other ones, I've got other ones obviously, <laughs> can't get enough chocolate at Christmas, so I thought that'd be quite nice, I'll put them in his stocking because they're a bit lighter. Um, and these other ones, I think they were about £2. Yeah, £2. Um, but they've got like the chocolate coins and they've got, I'll show you, they've got like the notes as well, but chocolate and the coins, so I thought that'd be quite nice. They'll probably go in his box because they're like super heavy. Um, but he loves taking the wrapper off the chocolate and diving in so hopefully that'll be quite good. Um, then on to B&M's we got him, James actually picked these up, pick and mix and they're like Aero's, Rolo's, Smarties, Toffee Crisp and they're just like bite sized bits. He's not all that keen on like things, like doesn't like Maltesers, he just crunches them up. It's like as long as it's chocolate it's fine. Um, but we'll see how we go and if not I'll eat them. And they were couple of pound I think. I wish I had the receipts, I'm so bad to dump them all. Um, and we also got him, I actually seen this on Emily Norris's channel, it's like magic Christmas dust and I can't remember which video it was but it was like a Christmas one obviously but I seen it and when I seen it when we got to the checkout I hadn't seen it the whole way around the shop and then I seen it on you know the display cases they have I seen it on there um, and I picked one up and I thought oh great but I don't actually think it's wildlife friendly it doesn't say in the back I don't think it is keep out reach of children and pets so it probably isn't animal friendly so we'll just like sprinkle it about the house and jazz everything up I think but that was 149 and it was good you know it's something for them to get a wee bit of fun out of so we got that and we got oh my god I love this. Can you see? Rotary light and look. Oh! How cool! It's like a wee snowman. The light's on and it just whizzes round. And I actually thought it wasn't working. It worked in the shop. And then when I got it home it wouldn't work. But it's working now! So he'll have loads of fun with that. He loves things that light up. Obviously. But one ninety nine total bargain for that. So we got that, and James picked him up the Smurfs Christmas Carol. He's not really into film. He's getting more into films now, but it's like TV programs he prefers to watch. Um, but hopefully we can sit Christmas Eve and watch that. So yeah, that was I think that was a fiver. Yeah, fiver. So, um, Primark. We got him. Hello. This. Hold on, guys. So from Primark, we've got this, like flashing ball. It's only a pound, and it's like a spiky. Like it's good for sensory and stuff. Um. So it says three plus, but I think you'll be fine. Hilarious. So on the way to the till, again, I'm such a sucker, we got them these um, finger puppets. They're actually for the bath, but I thought you could use them. You don't have to use them in the bath. And he loves like animals and stuff, so we get a panda, leopard, zebra, giraffe, and a hippo. Um, and when I was so yeah, we got them then. But when I was pregnant, I absolutely loved giraffes still quite like giraffes, I don't know what it is about them. Finlay's got a like five foot giraffe in his bedroom. 
but it's more for me than it is for him. So they were three pounds, but we thought we'd have loads of fun with them. So fingers crossed. Um, and they were three pounds. Did I say they were three pounds? They were three pounds. Uh, moving on to Asda, we got these pens, like sweet shop scented, and I've tried family with Koreans, and he's not all that interested. He just tries to eat them. Um, so I thought if I got him like chunky ones, he's able to hold quite well, and they draw easily. You're not having to like scratch the paper to get them, and it's it's like not suitable from zero to three. Is that zero to three months or years? I think it's, I don't know, but he'll be fine, it's not like I'm going to leave him and he's going to do it. And they come in different scents, so hopefully that'll make it a bit more interesting for him. But yeah, I think they were about 3 99 so that's good. And to go with that, we got him a doodle pad, which was 2 99 which is quite expensive actually for a doodle pad. It's just like plain paper. And I was thinking what my mum used to do with us. I actually got them like a paint roller set and paints, um, but they're for the actual Christmas day. But I thought like when we were younger, Mum used to get like wallpaper strips, like just cheap wallpaper, strip them out, put them on the table, and we just like paint away. So I'm definitely going to get some wallpaper, <sighs> cheap wallpaper, because um, I don't think this is going to cut the painting. But I thought that'd be quite good for his drawing. And it's quite bright and colourful, so hopefully he'll enjoy that. And we got him. For Christmas Eve, obviously, because it's Goody's Christmas Eve box. This cute wee onesie, and it's like got the hood, and it's got wee pockets. Finley loves like being like a wee old man and putting his hands in his pockets, keeping them cosy, and it's footless, which is good, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, well, actually, probably better with ones with feet in them, actually. But anyway, it doesn't matter because we got something for his feet. And it was eight pounds. It's a beautiful wee Christmas print. It's got like snowflakes, reindeer. I think there's some Christmas trees on there as well. Um, it's just quite cute. And we're just going to put him in a vest underneath so that when he goes to bed, he's really hot through the night. So we'll just put him in his vest when he actually goes to bed. But I thought it'd be quite cute for when he's wandering around. My auntie and my cousins are coming out for Christmas Eve and they're going to watch him open his box and stuff. Um, so I thought that'd be quite cute. So that was that, and that was, did I say that was £8? I did. And last but not least, we got him, not Snow Patrol, Snow Patrol? No, Paw Patrol. And they've got Chase on the sides. And, oh no, wait a minute. Ah, there we go. They light up. And Finlay hates wearing socks. You put socks on them, and... He takes them straight back off again. And yeah, his feet are always freezing, so we got him these to put on with socks, and hopefully he'll keep them on. Bit bizarre, but he's got slippers and he doesn't wear them, he's a nightmare. So they were £12, and if he doesn't wear them, then we'll just use them for all side. So that is all, folks. If you like that video. I'm thinking of doing a Primark haul next because I done a little bit of shopping in Primark as well when I was done. Um, so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe down below and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!